Hey everyone, Reflected here, and today I'd like to talk about a recurring misconception around heat blur's F14A module. The mid-compression bypass system and the circuit breaker controlling it. I think the way a lot of people understand it is that it's a magic button, and if you pull the circuit breaker, thus disabling the bypass system, it will instantly give your TF30 engines more thrust and you magically win all BFM fights. Therefore, many players have been nagging Hitler to implement this CB, which was never planned in the first place, but they actually ended up implementing it. Now there's a key assignment among the pilot controls that toggles this CB, and its effects are modeled in-game. But that didn't stop the nagging. This CB is at the back of the Rio cockpit and there's no way for the pilot to tell whether it's in or pulled, so people want audio feedback, a gesture voice line no less, or some kind of indication, and of course make it animated and clickable from the Rio cockpit, which it isn't at the moment, as if it was something you would use during every BFM. Stop. Just... Stop it. Get some help. Let's take a step back and see if it's really some sort of magic button. What does this system do in the first place? Like many other things, jet engines like a smooth and axial airflow through them in order to work properly. If you fly at a high angle of attack, the airflow becomes rough, turbulent, not only over the wings, but inside the engine too. Imagine you're on a surfboard, paddling on smooth glassy water, easy. Now imagine paddling through the turbulent, choppy whitewash after a wave. Not so easy. It's the same for your compressor fan blades. And if the airflow becomes too uneven, they may even stall, meaning they don't bite and move the air down the throat of the engine anymore, they're just flapping around pointlessly. Why is this a problem? Well, for one, you lose a considerable amount of thrust temporarily, or it may cause bigger problems, such as losing your engine permanently. And maybe even the jet. And your Rio. Not good. So, the smart people at Pratt & Whitney designed the system that senses when such a situation is imminent. And it opens a little door to bleed the air from the seventh stage of the low pressure compressor into the fan bypass duct. Meaning, some of the air will not enter the combustion chamber to be ignited and produce thrust, but instead it will go around it. This may result in losing a few thousand pounds of thrust, but it improves the airflow downstream, meaning your engine will be less likely to stall. If you pull that circuit breaker, the smart system will be disabled and you will not lose any thrust even at high AOA in sketchy situations. Cool, right? No! Let me rephrase. If you pull the CB and disable the mid compression bypass, you will gain, or more like not lose, one or two thousand pounds of thrust in about one percent of the time, in exchange for the risk of losing even more thrust because of a likely compressor stall or engine loss. Now you can see why Hitler's SMEs with over two thousand hours in the F 14A said, they never ever messed with that CB. I also asked Paco and he said the same. You can also see why it's entirely pointless for Hitler to dedicate any more energy to modeling it in-game. The reason why it even occurred to the DCS community is because of some embellished stories, tall tales about dogfighting just like using full flaps in dogfights, and other legends that should be taken with a grain of salt. Not saying these never happened in real life, I'm sure they did. But you need to understand the context. Hitler was already kind enough to dedicate manpower to modeling the system and giving us the option to experiment with disabling it. But I'm afraid they just opened a can of worms that needs to be shut. They have way more important things to do and develop. Think about the early F-14A, the F-4 Phantom or the Intruder. I don't know about you, but I'd rather have them work on those than chasing ghosts and implementing urban legends. Alright, I hope you found this video interesting. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya!